Hello everybody, welcome to Scalable Scripts. In this video, you will learn how to create authentication using React. The backend for this video is done on Laravel and you can find the video on our channel. In this tutorial, you will be able to create components and routes to consume API calls, use states and handle errors. This is the first part of our React authorization tutorials. Let's start with it and first we have to install React. To install React, we need first to install Node.js. To install Node.js, we just need to download and run the installer. And that's it, we are done. I already installed Node.js in my computer, so I am ready to install my React app. Open the terminal and write ngx create react app and I will call it react auth. You can name your project however you want. Let's wait till the installation is done. After the installation is done, we can go to the folder now and run npm start. This will run React server on the port 3000. Now that the server is up and running, let's open the browser and check our React app. Let's continue by adding the changes in our app. Now that our React app is done, we can go and check the files. So we can remove this part now, because we don't need it and we will also remove the logo. The first thing we do to style our app is installing Bootstrap. Let's install it now. Type in the terminal npm install bootstrap. Let's wait till it's done. Now that Bootstrap is installed, we need to import it in our app. This is the code for the import of the Bootstrap CSS files. Now that we added the Bootstrap CSS, it won't show the styles immediately, unless we add some HTML. I will paste now some HTML for a simple navigation, with a home on the left side and login and sign up on the right side. We can see now that the header looks fine and Bootstrap is working fine. Now let's add some more styles. Open index.css and paste this CSS. I will scroll down slowly so you guys can copy it. If we open our browser now, we can see that our styles look good. Now that we added our navigation, let's go down and add some more styles. Type div class name auth wrapper and inside we will add a div with a class name of auth inner. Here I will just display a simple h2 with a text you are not logged in. If you open the browser you can see not that good that it works. Seems like some style is wrong. Ok, we need to put a capital N here and everything looks fine. Now we won't add all the HTML in app.js. We want this to be another component. So let's create a new folder called components and inside it create a file called home component. Now write export default class home extends component. This is a default React component class. We need also to import React and component from React.
and add render method that will return the H2 tag you are not logged in. And here we will just use home. Open the browser and you will see the same thing. Let's also create a component for the navigation. Export default nav extends component. I forgot class here. Don't forget to import React and component from React in here too. Add the render method and return this HTML that we added here. And go to app and add navigation here. Also, add import nav from nav.component. We can see that everything works fine. Now that we added the home component, we want to go to login or sign up component when we click the link. But right now it's not doing anything. In order to go to login component, we need to add the routers. Let's do it now. First, install the React Router DOM by typing npm install React Router DOM. Let's wait till it's done. Now that it is completed, let's add in our main app browser router. We need to import browser router from React Router DOM. Now we need to make a switch statement here to change the component when we are in a different route. Write switch and also we need to import switch from React Router DOM and we add a new route. The syntax is route path and it should be the main page and component which is, in this case, is the home one. Remove the home component here, import the route, and we can see that the page works correctly. Now we need to add the other routes, the login route, Let's import it. Let's copy nav here and change it to login component and do the same thing for register too. Now, if you go to login route, you can see that it's not working and the reason is that we didn't specify the exact route. These routes should match exactly to the routes. Open the browser and you can see that now it works. We are at the login page. Now, if you go to register, This is the register page. Now we want when you click login or sign up to get redirected to that page. Let's do it. Let's go to nav 
and here we need to change it to link. Let's import it and it will redirect to the home page. Let's do the same for the login link. And for register. Now, if we open the page, click login and we get redirected to login page. Click sign up and we redirect to register page. Click home and we go to the home page. Now we have to create the register and login pages. Let's remove this H2 and convert it to a form. It will have a heading of 3 and then we need to add the inputs. Add a div class name form group. This is the bootstrap syntax to create forms. Add label first name and then the input type text. Class name form control, placeholder first name. Let's do the same for last name and email. The type has to be email in here because it will validate the email. Add the same for password with the type of password and confirm password because we want to confirm the password. Let's see how it looks like. It looks fine, so we just need to also add another button. Type button, class name BTN, BTN primary and BTN block. So the button is added. Now let's send a request to the server and create the first user. To do that we need to install Axios. Let's do it now. Axios is the package that allows us to send GET and POST requests. Now that Axios is installed, let's add a function to handle a submit request. Go here and add on submit this handle submit. Let's create this function. For now, just console log works. Go to the page and open Inspect. Try to click Sign Up and we can see that it works, but we also see that the page refreshes, which is not fine. To do that, we need to add an event in here, and this event should prevent the default behavior, in this case, to refresh the page. So now when I click sign up, it will just console log works without refreshing the page. 
Now we need to get the data from all the inputs. To do that, we have to create a variable for each input. There is an easy way where we can add all the variables here, but I prefer this way. I will add on change here and e for event this dot first name equals to e dot target dot value. So this automatically creates the first name variable. Let's do the same for all the other fields. Now here at console.log we will create a data variable which is equal to first name this dot first name, last name this dot last name, email this dot email, password this dot password and confirm password this dot confirm password. At the end, we will console log the data. Clear the console and put some random values. And we will see that we are console logging the values. Now we need to use Axios to send the post request to the server. Axios.post and the link is HTTP localhost 8000 slash register and we need to send the data and then this is when the response happens. But for now I will just console log the response. If an error happens I will use catch and let's console log the error. We also have to import Axios here. Let's try it out. We got an error, so let's check what it is. This data here has to be password confirm instead of confirm password. Let's change it and try it again. So we register successfully and we get the user with the ID of 1.